Security Guard Training of Houston, Texas. We're going to talk about integrity, depth, and depth of time. Let's get at it. Depth. The most clear ethical violation is theft. Security guards are hired to prevent theft of property. Officers caught stealing have not only committed a crime, but betrayed a sacred trust and dishonored the entire industry. Temptation can be high for security guards. Some work long hours and are often left alone with goods or products. Do not fall into the relaxation trap. It can start small, a piece of candy, which can escalate to other items. People do not like to admit a wrong has been committed, let alone a crime. So the action is justified. An individual might be self-convinced the item is deserved because of the good job being done or the guards are not being paid enough and the small bonus is justified. Always remember that any theft of any kind from a pack of gum to a pallet of stereo equipment is still theft. No excuse is, is acceptable and no amount of justification will make it right. Do not start down a path from which there is no defense. In addition to actual theft, there is the issue of the appearance of theft. Often when it Item goes missing, security guards, cleaning crews, and maintenance workers are the first suspects due to the unrestricted access to the property. Security positions are based upon trust and is called into question. The officers might be discharged or transferred to another position if 100% trust is lost. Individuals can know of honesty and honor but must be mindful to appear above doubt or suspicion at all times. The next topic, depth of time. Accurate timekeeping is critical job function. The majority of security guards are paid in the hourly wages. Precise recording of hours worked ensures the security guard is properly compensated for service. Exact timekeeping works both ways. If the security guard leaves a bit early, that officer should not be paid for time not working. On the other hand, if the security guard is asked to stay on a bit longer, the scheduled time, that officer must be compensated for additional labor. The Federal Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938 requires employers to pay at least a minimum wage and overtime for all hours work. When security guards fail to report hours actually work, the officers lose out on potential wages and place the employer at risk for failing to comply with federal law or contracted services. And there are additional complications when an employer bills a client for incorrect hours recorded by a security guard. Accurate timekeeping is, is also critical for security and liability issues. If the security guard is not actually on duty, when he or she claimed to be there, could be a lapse in security coverage. Additionally, if a crisis occurs during that window and the security guard claimed to be on duty was away, that officer and or the employee could be held liable for loss or damages. Remember, precise timekeeping protects all parties. More information on security guard training, visit our website link at securityguardtrainingusintexas.com. Call us or text at 713-391-4410. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to our channel, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much and have a great one.